This video was sponsored by Loop Deck. A very good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, my name is Benny and welcome to the second episode of Shapeshifted. You guys know what that means, I'll be turning myself into whatever you guys want it. A fictional character, an animal, species, mythical creature, you name it. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so with notifications on and then let's not waste any more time and see what I'm turning myself into this episode. A comment by Aniketh Delta Frost, turn yourself into Darth Maul, with pleasure. For those of you unfamiliar with Darth Maul, Maul is a character from Star Wars who is very well known mainly due to his appearance in Star Wars The Phantom Menace, Star Wars The Clone Wars, Star Wars Rebels and Solo. That's what I'm gonna be looking like today, at least I hope. First, as usual, I took a few interesting pictures of myself. I tried looking evil here, but well, that failed. And sadly, I don't own any lightsabers yet, so in this case, I just used uh, these as hilt references. I put my hair in a little whatever the hell you call this, because since Darth Maul is gonna be bald, I'm gonna save myself a whole lot of time by getting rid of the hair in my face. Now let's drop this into our beautiful software and get started. First of all, before starting this recording, I already masked myself out because let's be honest, who wants to watch me cut stuff out? It's incredibly boring. The first task, obviously, was making me bold. Again, like the last episode, except now it was a bit harder since my hair is a lot longer here. I tried copying an area of my forehead, but that wasn't quite it, so I had to get creative. This whole thing was just one big mess of forehead skin and some manual painting. At the end, it didn't look all that good, but since it's gonna be black anyways, I didn't really care. Then, Maul doesn't have eyebrows. So to get rid of those, I also copied an area above and moved it on top of it. That actually looked pretty decent. Then I started making the skin black with an exposure adjustment layer, but then realized it would probably look better if I first took out the color of my skin. That I did and re-edited the darkened layer. It didn't look great yet, but I made sure to add that stuff on the hands too and extracted it from the eyes and teeth, since those had to remain their original color. This looks very interesting to say the least. Then it was time to add the red tattoos on my face and for that I used this image. I selected the shape, turned it into a new layer and started warping it until it looked okay-ish. This was actually a lot harder than I thought because of the angle and I didn't have enough brain cells to think of that while taking these fantastic pictures. Once I thought this is horrible but it won't get any better, I hit enter and started getting rid of areas I did not like. Then after that I painted the missing stuff by myself because warp abandoned me today. Check out this ultra epic speed up. So, once I was happy with the shape, I subtracted that selection from the darken layer and the desaturation layer, which means these areas go back to the normal color again. Then I made that area red and boom, that actually may be finally starting to look like something, praise the lord. Now I wanted to work on the costume first, because I did not enjoy looking at this shit for so long. First off, I made my sweater brownish, like Maul in the Clone Wars Season 7, even though this ended up not really being that version, but rather just a random costume. Once that was done, I used a fabric texture to create these rope type thingies he's wearing. First I used my friend Warp again to uh, warp the shape and then after that I added lighting with various adjustment layers. That whole thing I had to do again for the other side and that actually looked pretty cool. I added some shadows below them to make sure it fits with the rest and did even more lighting adjustments like these highlights at the back. I also needed to include these shoulder pauldrons so for those I just kinda drew a shape and then added some lighting again. Obviously the whole same thing on the other side again, who would have thought? And to spice it up even more, I also added these wrist armor pieces. Guess what? The exact same story here. That all looked a bit too clean though, so to add some death and destruction, I put a concrete texture on top of all the armor pieces I made. That actually looked kinda decent. I also added that thing around Maul's waist, and all that combined already started to look pretty much like a Sith outfit. I just couldn't wait to add the horns, so I grabbed an image from the World Wide Web and smacked it on there. The angle turned out to be the exact same as the image I found, so uh, that was a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. But not all horns were placed correctly though, so I had to cut and paste here and there. Then it was time to blend it together with my shiny bold little head. First I desaturated the edges and then used a soft brush to fade out the edges. For some lighting I put some very bright highlights here and there to match my face and when that was complete I did the same thing, but 
with shadows. That looked pretty freaking sick, but to me it looked weird how there's this very bright highlight on my face, but nowhere else. So I tried to recreate that highlight all over my body. Then, Sith eyes. Obviously, I don't have red burning eyes, so those I grabbed from the internet as well and then squished it into my eye socket. I erased the stuff I didn't need and then copied it to the other side. That looked pretty badass. To be honest, I think that was actually the most game-changing thing. It completely turned the dump look into sort of a uh, sinister look. It's, uh, it's crazy. Now, before moving on, I'm hosting another Photoshop giveaway contest, so stay with me here. Let me first tell you a thing or two about Loop Deck, the sponsor of this video. This is a Loop Deck CT. You may ask, what the heck is this? Well, to be honest, it is exactly what it looks like. It is a custom editing console that you can use for all kinds of creative software, like the Creative Cloud apps, but also other stuff like Spotify and OBS Studio. It allows you to access shortcuts, tools, effects, and more with just one click or press. Once you open up Photoshop, it automatically switches switches to the Photoshop interface, and once you start up OBS Studio, there you go. Even for Windows in general, there's a lot of handy stuff like controlling your volume, which for me is a huge improvement on FN F2 and 3, which are miles apart. And you can also skip songs, mute the audio, take super quick screenshots, it is super useful. You can use the dial to control sliders or adjusting parameters in, for example, color grading. I myself particularly enjoyed that. And the best thing yet, you can assign your own hotkeys to buttons or create a completely new interface with different pages you can switch to. It is hard to explain everything in such a short amount of time because there is tons of features. This little device can save you a lot of time and help you work more efficiently. Of course, there's a few different models for different budgets, so you can choose based on your personal needs. If you're interested in this product, you can use the link in the description for more info and their store. I'm generally happy with it, so go see if this is for you. But do you want to win one? Yes, you do. Here's what you need to do to enter the Loop Deck Holiday Contest. Go to Benny Productions dot nl slash loop deck and download this photo I took. All you're gonna do is edit this photo with Photoshop in any way you like, however it has to be Christmas related. Other than a Christmas theme, there's literally no rules. Once you're finished, all you gotta do is send it to bennysubmissions at gmail.com including loop deck holiday contest in the mail title. If you don't do that, you can't enter. I'll choose the best, funniest, coolest or most original one and that will be the winner. I'll be revealing the winners here on my channel in a video where I'll be reacting to some stuff you guys made, so even if you don't win, there's still a chance of seeing your edits in my video. Go to bennyproductions.nl slash loopdeck and there you'll find all the info and rules written down and the correct email address. I wish you all the best of luck. Now onto the second part of this video, the speed art segment. As usual, we already did the character part of the video, so now it's time to add some cool elements and effects and epicness. Sit back.
and there you go, that is what I would look like if I were Darth Maul. Very, very interesting. If you know a great character from a movie, a TV show, a video game or some other mythical creature, feel very free to comment down below and maybe I'll pick your comment for the next episode of Shapeshifted. Now, let's check out my favorite, favorite Instagram post on hashtag BennyReview. Today we've got some, uh, literally, uh, killer artwork by 7th Voyage. Flawless as always. I saw this and I just couldn't resist putting it in my favorite Instagram post. Super cool. Want to see your post on my favorite Instagram posts? All you gotta do is tag hashtag BennyReview in your next post. Don't forget to check out Loop Deck in the description if you're interested and then I guess that's it for today. If you like this video make sure to leave a like and a comment and if you enjoy my overall content feel very free to subscribe and make sure to hit the bell to stay notified about future videos. Then I hope I'll see you in my next video.